C-E-O. C-E-O, come on. Once was outside and now we worldwide. C-E-O, come on. Once told the high, but you can't deny it. C-E-O, come on. The drink took some time, but now we on the rise. C-E-O, come on. If we unify, the squad will never die. Hey guys, Jabail here, and it's been a little while since my last review, but first, if you're new to the channel, this is the CEO Gaming channel, but also my personal channel for gaming-related reviews, news, stuff like that. So first, just want to thank you for all the new subscribers we recently reached. Uh, we're almost at 38,000, so that's awesome. We were about 31,000 a couple years ago when events kind of took a break, but we just had the CEO 2022 championships, and so I kind of wanted all the content from all our awesome tournaments to kind of take over for a few weeks, but now I'm back, starting to get some new products that are coming down the line, so I want to kind of showcase uh, the newest stick. This is actually from Quamba. This was a sponsored video. They sent me the stick. Uh, they sponsored CEO in the past, but I have many other sticks and we'll do a couple comparisons. But this is the Quamba Q8. They have three different versions as I'm looking at their website. This is the top of the line one, but not much of a price break difference. It's This one's $199.99. This only works on PC and also mentions Android. Um, this is basically going after the, you know, the China PC and Japan and all over the world PC market. Kind of excited to look at it because it comes with, you know, LED a lot of customization that you would pay extra by you know building it out yourself so pretty cool to see that again this is the Quamba Q8 the silent version um, where you can still hear it obviously but the buttons won't be as clicky as you're used to with other arcade sticks so the bottom version uh, you know starts at 170 this one's 199 so not much of a difference you can go you know see this on the Quamba website I'll link it in the description below but I usually switch between sticks you know over the years I, I've become a fan of the Vitrix but the Quamba Obsidian is usually the one I always go back to. Here's this, came in a nice brown box, kind of has a hole in it, obviously traveling across the world to get to here. Um, but let's kind of open this bad boy up, kind of see how it feels. So Quamba right there. Uh, again, stick kind of pushed through it. That happens in travel. So the box in Cayman is actually a box they use for other fight sticks as well. But yeah, Quamba cover kind of protects the stick. And then Quamba is known for, as I like to call it, the stick condom. But a nice little cover for when you travel, you can kind of take off um, so I think that's pretty cool that they, it comes with it. It looks like heat got to the, uh, you know, the styrofoam and kind of melted onto that. But again, pretty cool. Put it on. That way you don't have to worry about anything hitting it in your backpack, stuff like that. So let's lift this up. Oh, that's actually nice and hefty. Jeez, that's like four or five pounds right there. Very simple boxing. Kwamba's always been good at that. It's really cool to see the packaging for fight sticks over the years. And then, you know, going back on the back of the box, there's a lot of detail to this stick. Uh, you know, LED buttons, being able to switch out parts very easily gives you all the directions for that. So we'll kind of go over that. But there's the box that it came in. And then something I've been seeing in a lot of controllers, I think the 8-bit dough was one of the first sticks to do it, is this little lever that changes on the fly Octogate to Square Gate, which is really cool if, you, if you're playing a different style kind of game and such. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, that is nice. Does that have little plastic covers? Yes, they actually covered them. So you feel how this, you know, you hear this just on first. This feels nice. Nice, good size. I like the little metallic green they're going for. They're always known for putting lots of buttons there. Just to give you an idea of the difference in sound right here, right? It's just silent motion. Let's go in there. I have a customized obsidian right here, so you can kind of see the size. Just on first reaction, or look, Obsidian's about two inches uh, longer uh, from side to side, but listen to this. So you got silent. You see how you feel the stick right here, but here you do not. You know, regular, if you have other members of the family or friends over, you're not gonna hear them late at night, you know, pushing buttons as much, so. Silent. See the difference, which is pretty cool. Me personally, I, I can adjust to either stick, so that doesn't matter to me too much, but very cool that they, again, come with upgraded buttons that you'd see a lot of people customize on their own. So, quick little comparison with the, another customized stick from Controller Chaos, Dragon. This Dragon is not a stick I'd uh, you know, travel with, but this is on PS4, PS3, PC, so big boy. So again, not silent. So really cool difference to kind of see for yourself. So if you're interested in something that doesn't sound just as, as loud as a normal stick, 
silent buttons, Sanwa or any kind of silent is the way to go. So again, right there, let's move that one out of the way. Um, you know, on first look, PCD, PCX, AS, things I wouldn't know, you know, unless I looked it up what exactly these are for. So, oh, okay, so PCD, direct input, X input. Some games on PC will use one or the other, or if you're kind of doing like customized console gaming on your PC uh, through means, different means, you know, you will have to have a kind of a input or change that setting right there. So all your standard buttons, the LED color actually, it has a color wheel. Makes it very simple. I've had other sticks where you press the button, but you're not sure the order that they're gonna go in or you know which button do you hold it to change the LED colors, so cool. Then has all your other buttons. Your Oh my God, even these are quiet. So, and then DP, left stick, right stick. So DP, uh, you know, digital uh, inputs. So if you wanna use the D-pad, DP for D-pad, uh, it'll turn this into like your D-pad on a analog controller. And then left stick, it'll be like your left, uh, you know, stick if you're using like a PlayStation DualShock 4, right stick. So something that comes with all of them, but the quality on this, and then the start button right here, actually, if you're a masher, you're not gonna hit it too hard. So usually they kind of hide the buttons or have a button that turns it off. But looking around, very solid build. Oh, actually, this is not for different inputs. Sorry, guys. This is to open the stick and get it out. So that's pretty cool. So looks like you're gonna have to use a bunch of screws to get in and out. There's no you know, quick cus customization button. Let me see, actually. Does this open on its own? So real quick edit for you guys. I went back in the box. I did not see it, but it actually comes with a very cool wipe because the front is kind of fingerprint uh, heavy. So uh, nice, cool thing. And then also they gave two extra USB adapters. So one for micro USB and then also one for USB-C. So if you're on a newer laptop, you have a way to connect to that. So super cool. They added these things as well. Plus an English instruction manual that will better explain everything than I did in the video. But Kind of cool that everything's explained here, so you understand every single piece of it. Uh, large anti-slip pad, you know, so describes everything for you. Uh, and then also how to get in. And then I figured this part out. So the screwdriver is this. So watch, boom, you do that and then you kind of wiggle it out. And then you can actually use these flat edges to go in here and remove the stick by holding it there and then twisting the top. So super cool they did that. That's actually very creative thinking. Uh, you know, so if you want to switch out the stick to something else, a link or anything like that, this is how you get it. And then, you know, so you don't lose this, you won't forget to put that back in. Boom. Side compartment, that way, you know, a lot of sticks will have the wire separate. Um, I always like how Quamba, you know, keeps it attached to the side, but pretty cool. Here's kind of an overview of it. I'm going to change this angle for you guys, kind of see me playing some Street Fighter V, doing some moves on it, see how it feels. But on first reaction, uh, you know, on first thoughts, Nice hefty stick. You know, if you don't like the color green, you're not gonna like this. Don't know if it's easy to kind of take this out, take all the buttons and put like a, uh, a wrap or some kind of like um, vinyl over it to cover it with your own artwork. But for a PC stick under 200 bucks, this is pretty solid construction, totally new design from anything they've done before. Uh, so pretty cool, but yeah. All right guys, so I am back. Uh, basically booted up my Street Fighter V. Super cool on this thing, just to kind of run you through, show you like, you know, on first reaction input, like, it's instant, so I don't feel any input lag playing on this. Uh, obviously, I don't have the technical capabilities to do everything. Standard stick, you know, the more I was thinking about it, this actually reminds me kind of like the old Mad Cats TE2 build, so super cool on that. You can change the LED setting. So there's an LED button here, kind of change it, and then LED scroll wheel that actually uh, increases or decreases the speed that it's, you know, changing the things at. So if you hit this again, really cool setting right here. It reacts to your, you know, Standard LED stuff, so super cool that it does that little scroll wheel that actually clicks in as well. Super cool that everything's kind of reactive, and then really cool setting here is changing, you know, leaving that always there, that color. So yeah, you can actually increase the brightness here. Super cool, and then LED button again. And then kind of, you know, it kind of runs through everything. So super cool, it could be distracting to your opponents. Otherwise, you know, a lot of customizability here that's easy to do, and then, you know, slowing it down or speeding it up <laughs> so the buttons can just go non-stop for you so um but overall you know just on first reaction the stick is a very quality high quality build i love the stickers on so if you want the qualms to still light up so again if you like silent buttons across the board silent stick you know it's not as loud to play with um you know if this was built for console as well this is a very solid stick for the 200 dollars for the full-on silent version i actually can give it an easy recommendation if you're looking for a pc only stick to kind of tide you over I'm uh, really digging this stick. Uh, it's working out great, you know, start button. So, you know, you can mash. You're not gonna hit the start button unless you really go off the rails on that one, so. So 
So super cool, works great. If you're interested in this stick, definitely check it out. Kwamba, thank you as always for supporting the FGC. Looking for a nice stick, uh, you might want to consider this one if you want basically everything already customized for you. Just plug it in and you're good to go. So check it out and please, you know, give a like and subscribe. Uh, I appreciate you guys supporting CEO. I hope you enjoy. Uh, there'll be a lot more content on the, you know, coming down the pipeline for all this. So, all right, guys, till next time. Thank you. Jabali out. See.